Wow. Yes! Good boy! And consistently here you see many, 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 many puppies, different puppies, all looking the same with the e-collar, with the tails wagging and the spirit, and very young. So, people are surprised. I know that most people with this are just right off the bat turned off thinking that they're going to hurt the puppy or dog when they use it. They automatically think the puppy's going to cry or the dog's going to cry in your electric, right? It's none of that. Not how I use it. It's the perfect system, right? So dog was meant to be bitten in life by other dogs. That's how they talk to each other communicate life they don't have language they don't have words ah uh -uh, hey no uh, time out look at me right you want to treat sit you want to treat right there's a place for that stuff but not here and never in heel work or walking so quickly and gently we guide the puppies not hurt them they don't cry they don't yelp there's none of that right or else you would not have that prancy happy attitude obviously right you would think that people would understand that right watching that you cannot assume that it's hurting
You ready? You ready? <laughs> All right, Maisie, let's go. Heel. Good girl. All right. Good girl. <laughs> yes. Good girl. Heel. All right. Good girl. Good. Yes. We'll do. Heel. Good girl. Let's go. Yes. All right. Good girl. All right. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Break. All right. Good girl. <laughs> Sit. Break. All right. Girl. Oh. <laughs> Sit. Break. All right. <laughs> Good girl. Sit. Break. All right. Good girl. <laughs> Woo. Sit. Stay. Busy. Come. Good girl. Oh, girl! Yo, cut! Cut! Oh. <laughs> Alright, next puppy is a three month old Rottweiler puppy. And this is just an example. I'm training this puppy right now. You're going to see a difference though with this puppy than all the other ones. This puppy's just one of those dogs, no matter what style you do, she's just not a happy-go-lucky kind of puppy, right? <laughs> when she's working. Food doesn't change that. We did a little bit with her to see if we could get her attitude up. Doesn't matter. She's not that kind of puppy, so this is not the kind of puppy that you're going to be able to raise up and get all the tail wagging and all that. We did everything we could, playing with her during healing and all that, and treats to try to stem it. Doesn't matter. She doesn't care. It's just not her personality style. So just keep that in mind that not every puppy you're going to get the attitude of the wiggling and the and the prancing and all that, right? She's rare with this but this is what you get in life it's not you're going to be able to pull that out of every single puppy and she's just an example but here what I'm going to show with her what we care about try to get the attitude as good as we can but we care that her fluency and her technique is very good on her healing right so here before we took off the collars we wanted to make sure her position was good and she could walk in life even with another dog around in distraction right, you're just gonna pass good we're gonna do a little uh, right turn okay.
Okay, now that she has that, we see that. I tell the owner, take off the E collar. And we just have her regular pink collar. And now, in the environment, remember this is on real streets, cars. There's tons of people who walk here and exercise. So we have real life. This is not an isolated place like a training facility. This is out in the real world on streets where cars go and they're active. And the public is out there also and ducks. So three months old, put out into real life, right? Doing healing in real world with no collar on and no, no way to stop her if she makes a mistake. But we're that sure that she's not going to do that because at three months old her game is very fluent. And here I tell the owner take the collar off and we start her heel. Okay. Now, when this guy passes, I'm just going to try one thing. I'm going to take the e-collar off. Okay, just do your thing. You're going to make a little yui on the path. I'm going to come back past the ducks. Good. And you're going to go out to the street run to the left. All right, you just move over a little bit on the right. Cause, mm -hmm. Good. Okay, we'll bring her back. You're going to walk her right through here. Good. I'm going to give her a break. You can see in her eyes, she's like, I just want those ducks. Right. Why can't I get those ducks? Mama! Right there. That's, every yeah. time I break, yeah, it's yeah. straight up. And then you just call her back, right? So, like. Okay, and you see ducks and people walking by in the public just walking through the neighborhood and she's passing them in her heel and doesn't even care or try to go to anybody in the public that's walking by or to the ducks so perfect real life get that anywhere else <laughs> except for in my system that's not normal right but in my system, it's completely normal, right? We expect our three-month-old puppies 
four month old puppies to be able to walk in life and not pay attention to things and perfectly do their exercises. So not normal for society, but in my system, absolutely normal. We expect 100% that all puppies can do that. Now, here I do one more thing. Take off the pink collar too. Now the puppy's wearing nothing at all. No collars, nothing. Hold those both out like that so I can feel it. Okay, she's got nothing on her head. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> And let's see what her attitude is if we take off even the pink collar, her regular collar that she can't feel is nothing on her at all. Testing her fluency. Now you want to check something? And we just won't do too much. We'll have you check. And we can switch if you want. See what happens if you take her pink collar off. Okay, yeah, and then we'll have you. <laughs> then we'll have to, you're gonna call tip, and then you're just gonna start healing her. Okay. Mm -hmm. How'd you come? Good. Yeah, if you want, you're gonna go to the sunlight, and you're gonna make a big wide turn into the sun, and we're gonna go back in the sunlight. This way. Yeah. To your right. Good, maybe you go slower, and then you just stop. Good. Then heel. Heel. Good, okay. So I'm gonna have you go up across the grass and past the ducks. All right, just gonna make a right, right onto the path, okay? Okay, you're gonna go left out to the sun. Come in here. All right. You're gonna pass your car because she knows you're just gonna walk right. Mm -hmm. You're gonna hook her off to the path. Oh, whichever one you want. That's fine, that's fine, it's, it's fine. And we're gonna stop just before the grass. Gonna hold off a second. Okay, tell her break. Break. Good. Good girl. Very good. Okay, perfect. Right up the grass, around the ducks. I mean, perfect healing in real world environment at three months old. No collars. So I always say start puppies as young as possible. Eight months, uh, eight weeks old, sorry, to max four months old, right? Max, I, now of course I train tons of dogs, adults and any age. But the ideal is eight weeks old to four months old with pressure, okay? When we apply the pressure of the collar, gentle, we get good attitude, good spirit, fluency, right? We get learning and remember that puppy comes to us clean eight weeks old, 10 weeks old, straight from a breeder or wherever, and they don't know how or have history in life 
of getting away with things and a certain way of living that they just live for free and do nothing, right? So you have a clean slate when you start a very young puppy and you're just conditioning them to this is what life is, this is how it works, right? They don't know any better. They don't have months and months and months and six months to a year of just doing what they want, pulling on leashes when they want, right? No discipline, no control, just freedom to do whatever, right? Because most people think in society that you just let dogs be what they are and just let them be a dog, meaning that that's wildness, just chaos, no discipline, no rules, no strictness, no... So when you take that mentality, you get a dog now six months up, five, six months up. Now you're trying to curve all that if they've been with you since eight weeks old. And it's more difficult and it gets harder to get them off the equipment if the game is not done very well, right? So yes, and of course, we'll, at any age, we'll get them off the equipment, it doesn't matter. And we'll get the learning in very quickly as well, but it's so much easier when you start very young without history, right? Because puppies coming clean doesn't know what life is about yet, doesn't know anything how it works. So when you start that heel game or anything else in obedience and you start it right away, things just mold, they shape, they form quickly, and then here we, you get a puppy that just does its thing, right? with nothing on and continues to do the healing the way we taught it to when equipment was on, right? And with distractions and environmental stimulus. So that's what happens when you start very young. You can take the collars off and the puppy doesn't even realize that it's not wearing any collars because we mentally shaped it and conditioned it that the puppy doesn't even know the difference, right? It just knows that this is what I do. I follow the leg like this, whether equipment is on or not, right? And much easier, right? You've shaped what you've wanted and how you want it. So it's much easier to get them off the equipment and get them fluent and do what they have to do in life very well and quickly. Right. There you go. The perfect heel system for any puppy or dog, period, on the planet. The quickest, most effective, humane way to train a puppy or dog, period. So, Hope you like Richard Hines, Miami Dog Whisperer.